What's up guys, today we are checking new features that Microsoft wants to push out to their users real soon. Their intentions are to involve gamers and social communities in a seamless fashion. While most gamers won't really care about these updates, the mainstream audience definitely will be delighted to see the likes of Facebook, Twitter, and Last.fm make its debut by year's end. Facebook seems to be a pretty simple application that they've added to uh, the dashboard and basically it's a portal for you to see what your friends are up to you know, with your news feed and then you also get to uh, post status updates of course from your 360 directly but it seems to take forever to type all, you know, everything you want to. Then you get uh, photo viewing capabilities. Um, most pictures look decent uh, but almost all of them were really low res and looked really bad. Uh, you're going to be able to have the ability to, uh, you know, comment and also choose if you like, you know, uh, whatever the picture might be or the post might be, but there are no abilities to upload anything from your 360 to uh, Facebook. So you're really, really limited. The, the best part about um, Facebook on the 360 seems to be the friend linking. Uh, they just made it so it's literally really user friendly for you to uh, go ahead and add people who are on Facebook. Uh, that you might not know of that have Facebook under 360, vice versa, and it, it's, it seems almost automated. So definitely a big plus right there. Easy way to add your friends, uh, whether you know them on Facebook or you know them on the 360. Twitter integration is pretty cool. Basically, it's a really quick and effective way to just check statuses on everybody you're following. Um, even people you're not following, there's really, really simple ways for you to search any topics uh, from words and phrases or other things that you, you want to discover that's out there in the Twitter world. Of course, you could tweet from your 360, but again, it's the simple fact that it's really difficult to uh, type out phrases on, you know, like a 360 uh, controller. If you had the little keyboard, uh, or you had a keyboard that you know uh, plugged into your 360 that worked, then big thumbs up because uh, that's definitely going to speed up the process. I'm hoping for simple things like you know even an audio tweet that you'd be able to do uh, because hey we all have mics on our 360, so why not be able to just record a little audio post that's like 15 seconds long and be able to post that as a tweet? You know something to think about, guys. Then there's this, you know, uh, trending topics, which for me was an unimpressive mix of, you know, what others care about, and that's really not what I'm there for. I'm there to see who's out there that's interested in gaming, maybe gaming tournaments, and search those keywords, find the right people, have them follow us, or send them out, you know, tweets that, you know, we recommend to those users. Last FM uh, is probably one of the best uh, add-ons. Uh, that's coming a while for, uh, to the 360 dashboard, and I say that because um, it's it's so quick and easy to sign up. Uh, there's tons of content on there, a lot of you know mainstream popular music, of course, uh, but then there's also in the uh, you know indie scene support, which I was very proud of. Uh, I in fact I searched my own band name and my music started streaming. All our pictures were there, um, at least what they they found, and none of my bandmates have actually inputted any of that information to them. So how they got it uh, doesn't really matter to me. The fact that my band is on through, uh, you know, on the Last FM application through the 360 makes me really happy to know that anybody could push their music through this platform, not just mainstream artists. Then you could start your, new, you know, your own station. So any bands that you're into, you create stations, share them with your friends, and eventually they can become like, you know, a playlist for a lot of people to uh, check out. The audio quality is really really nice and uh, to end things off with last FM they have a gamer station so a lot of uh, game related you know uh, orchestra music or you know uh, composers uh, really nice touch and hopefully they could expand on you know the gamer station and allow a lot more independent musicians who are you know writing game music to maybe uh, try to get their music out you know uh, for, for people to hear. I've never personally been a fan of uh, the video marketplace on the 360, and yet again they're changing it once more. Now it's going to be known as the Zune Marketplace. Here's what it comes down to with the Zune Marketplace. You have access to anything that's video, so movies, music videos, uh, etc. You get quick streams, which, which is something that they're offering now, which is nice, and it does stream very quickly. 
However, I wasn't really impressed by the quality. Uh, virtually though, there's every movie trailer you can think of. So it's a great way for, you know, if you're interested in movie trailers to like sit down like a couple minutes a week to see what's out there that's new. Definitely a good system. Again, not the best quality. Uh, they have gamer TV, but the content in it was really weak. So I don't know if they're testing grounds with this or not, but everything that was in there was bad. One cool feature is um, the fact that you can do party viewing. Um, it's a nice feature only really if you have friends that enjoy watching, you know, movies with you, you know. Uh, friends that you can sit down with, uh, you know, and really spend two hours, watch a movie and have a great time. Uh, this is definitely a good thing. On top of all that, they have all the latest movies, decent prices, clean interface, and really I feel like they're just trying to boost their video content delivery just because they want to appeal to more gamers by the year's end. Big dashboard update coming along your way. Anybody you know who's into the social media scene is gonna really dig this dashboard update. And I feel like this, this is just another small step in Microsoft's scheme to try to take over the video game market. Till I'm ready